Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make stuffed mushrooms. <clears throat> and I prepped the, uh, the big mushrooms by um, taking off the stems, in which I saved in a bowl, and cleaning them. And then I also kind of like use a small spoon to scrape out the middle a little bit, just so that there's more room for the filling. So, let's take that out. And what I'm going to do next is just basically do a rough chop or dice, try to dice these um, stems because they're, they're going to go into the uh, mixture as well that we're going to be stuffing this, the mushrooms with. So the next ingredients you'll need is some sort of protein. Um, some people use, you know, ground beef. Today I'll be using um, ground turkey just to make it a little bit more healthier. Uh, some green onions and then also some uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. I got the third, one third less fat kind. It's up to you, it's your preference. But do a rough chop on all of these. We'll add that back to the mixture. I do a quick rough chop and then I'll dice it a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, the stems of these mushrooms should I mean, are edible, so and it adds great texture to our little mix. I'll go ahead and add it to this big bowl where we're going to be adding all the ingredients. Uh, first, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to ground the, I'm sorry, cook the ground turkey until it's almost fully done with onions and uh, garlic. And then uh, we'll add everything to the mix. I'll be right back to show you. I'm going to go ahead and add the cream cheese. And then uh, once it's added, I'll start cooking the uh, ground turkey. Yep, this cream cheese is currently at room temperature, so should be good to go here. Should be fairly easy to uh, mix up. Okay, that's added. to add us some green onions okay so I have um, a, uh, one of these uh, pots on the stove top here and I have a little bit of uh, olive oil and going to, I did some uh, I cut up some diced onions I'm gonna cook that up a little bit and what we're gonna cook today is uh, ground turkey this is a uh, uh, let's see, fresh lean ground turkey, no antibiotics ever. Premium quality goodness. So I try to get, uh, you know, a pretty good type of uh, ground turkey. Pretty much organic. Put that out a little bit. Can add a little bit of this uh, Himalayan pink salt. To it. Okay, to it, I'm going to add the ground turkey. And 
I'm going to be adding a little bit of Laurie's uh, garlic salt. Some ground black pepper. until it's brown. Okay, to this mixture I'm going to go ahead and add the cooked ground turkey. Oops. Now we should be able to mix everything pretty well. And to this mixture, I'm also going to add some of this uh, Kobe and Monterey Jack cheese, shredded cheese. Sorry about that, an incoming call. But I uh, went ahead and mixed, did the mixture. I'm going to do a quick taste test to make sure that it doesn't need anything else. Mmm. Oh my god. It's so good. The cream cheese, the cheese, the, um, uh, the ground turkey. And the green onions, it's perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to clean up the spoon. And now we are ready to stuff the mushrooms. So let's start out with this one. So in this pan, I have it uh, sprayed down with Pam so that it doesn't stick. And then now we're just going to uh, stuff the mushrooms like so oh my gosh that looks amazing this also makes an excellent dip if you just want to bring this as a dip instead of like much stuffing this with the mushrooms or stuffing the mushrooms with this um it's also a hit this is a great dip that you can take um with tortilla chips you know it will be a hit at a party so today i am going to uh, my little niece's birthday party so i decided to make a bunch of uh, appetizer food for her for her party so I'm excited and I'm you know of course recording these videos because it's so easy and fast to make and hopefully you guys like this recipe um, if you do please like my video and subscribe if you haven't already I'll have more you know um, like this base this channel basically has all of my favorite hobbies on there which is photography cooking especially with the instant pot and also um, crochet. You guys all know I love to crochet. And if you guys have any um, special video requests for anything, let me know and I will do it. And occasionally I'll throw in some lifestyle stuff. Like the other day I did a what's in my travel makeup bag and toiletry bag. Um, I don't know if you guys like to watch that kind of content. But if you do, please let me know and I'll make some more lifestyle stuff for you guys. But this is amazing. Um, go ahead and continue to do uh, 
I'm going to continue to do the uh, stuffing here and then I'll come back and show you how uh, to finish this. Okay guys, so I just finished stuffing the mushrooms. Now to top it off, I'm going to add some more of these kolicho cheese. I'll give it a nice color once it's out of the oven. So heat your oven to 350 degrees and we'll cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes depending on your kind of oven, how strong it is. So um, if you want that crisp orange color on the top, Boil this for a good two minutes and it should look really good. So this is what I'm doing to top it off. It's going to be very decadent, very creamy, delicious food. And this is a great low carb uh, meal or appetizer. <laughs> um, I sometimes do this uh, with the big portobello munch mushrooms as well. And that's like a dinner. So it's very good. You can use healthier alternatives if you want. Like I said, I use the ground turkey, which is a healthier alternative to the beef, ground beef. Um, you can also use ground chicken if you want. You can make it vegan, maybe adding tofu instead of the ground turkey. Because tofu does basically mimic the, the taste of what you put in it. So basically that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven uh, where it's already heated. It's at 350 degrees. Put that in for 15 minutes and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, that's my timer going off, but look at how these are going. They're looking almost perfect. I'm gonna let it go for another. Okay, everyone. I just took these out of the oven. I had it in there for a total of 20 minutes with uh, including two minutes of it on oil. But this is how it looks. Isn't it amazing? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and transfer these to um, a party tray so I can transport it to my brother's house for the party. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you like this content.